fact is that uh, deterring threats and underwriting stability is as vital today for not only the peninsula, but for the world. Even in the face of historic economic challenges, our economy is providing and proving to be resilient. Resilient? Have you ever heard a weaker expression of resilience than that? That is the president of the United States of America. Can't even say the most basic thing without reading it off a piece of paper. Biden mumbling and bumbling his way around Asia while here at home inflation soars, the stock market crashes, the borders wide open and the baby formula shortage is now expected to last for months. Evening everyone and welcome to the next revolution live from New York tonight. More than Biden's border crisis, more than Biden's inflation crisis, both of those the consequence of deliberate ideological choices. The Biden baby crisis proves beyond any doubt that this Biden regime, the whole rotten crew of Obama retread, swamp time servers and juvenile activists, is totally unserious and completely incompetent. It was in February, three months ago, that the nation's largest baby formula producer closed its Michigan factory because of a contamination scare. The Food and Drug Administration, part of the federal government and run by a Biden appointee, Dr. Robert Califf, surprise, surprise, a former Obama appointee, was fully involved in the decision to close the plant. Within the cabinet, the FDA and this issue are the responsibility of these men, HHS Secretary Javier Becerra and Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack, who, of course, was Obama's Agriculture Secretary too. Who would have guessed? Now, the good news is that Dr. Robert Califf and Secretary Becerra and Secretary Vilsack have been on the case. They've been trying to fix the baby formula crisis. In fact, the White House told us that in a statement issued last Thursday. They have been, quote, working diligently to solve the problem. And not just Dr. Robert and Javier Becerra and Tom Vilsack. Oh, no, it's been all hands on deck. The Department of Justice, Department of Transportation, U.S. Trade Representative, Department of Homeland Security, Department of Commerce, the White House. They've all been working diligently. And in fact, they've been working diligently, quote, over the last few months to address the baby formula crisis. Brilliant. Except, wait a minute, the crisis is now. A few months ago, when all these people started working diligently, there actually wasn't a crisis. There was just a closed factory. So somehow these geniuses, by working diligently, managed to turn a closure into a crisis. Their response to a sudden massive interruption to the supply of one of the most vital products imaginable for America's families wasn't to get the Michigan factory up and running. They're saying that's still weeks away. It wasn't to get extra supply from other U.S. producers. It wasn't to try and find replacement supply from other countries. They continued to block imports for months with massive tariffs and pointless regulations. It wasn't even to invoke the Defense Production Act. They never stopped going on about during the pandemic. The Biden regime's response, they tell us, was working diligently for months. And this is the result. Panic and despair for millions of families. You might even say separating babies from their food. What could be more inhumane? But at least we now know what working diligently means. It means creating a crisis. And actually, it explains the entire Biden regime. They've been working diligently on inflation, working diligently at the border. They really worked diligently on the withdrawal from Afghanistan. That was super diligent. Is this what they meant when they told us the grown-ups were back in charge? I do think ultimately you're going to see adults in the room... Amen to the adults being back in the room. We've got grown-ups in the room. We've it felt like the grown-ups uh, were back in charge. We have an, a, a president who has surrounded himself with competent individuals. I think we're going to have competency back. <laughs> How's that working out, Amy Klobuchar? We were promised the West Wing and we ended up with Veep. What smug, self-satisfied BS the whole thing was. Grown-ups in the room, effective governance, administrative competence, working diligently. What a joke. They're so incompetent, they're now even admitting they've known about it since last year. From everything I've, I've known, and FDA has kept me apprised of this from last year, uh, we have been moving as quickly as we can. As quickly as you can? We've gone from warp speed with Trump to car crash under Biden. <laughs> Biden's economics chief gave us a new timeline this morning. When will baby formula be available to Americans in the way that they need? It's going to take a little bit of time. Oh, a little bit of time, just a little bit of time. Yeah, because you've only had three months. Today, the media breathlessly report on a military flight bringing in formula from Switzerland as if it's some kind of triumph. 
What are you talking about? We should never have been in this situation in the first place. Just look what Biden's done to our standing in the world, begging for oil from Venezuela and baby formula from Europe. According to Bloomberg, this whole thing may have even been a false alarm anyway. The suspicious samples all tested negative, and there was no genetic match between tests taken at the Michigan factory and babies that got sick. A completely unnecessary, self-created crisis. And, of course, in time-honored Biden fashion, they found a way to make it worse. CNN tried the emergency website the Biden people created for anxious parents and ended up waiting on hold for an hour and 12 minutes only to be told to look at another website. It is all a complete and utter shambles with devastating consequences for the weakest and most vulnerable in our society. And, of course, just as a fish rots from the head down, diligence flows from the top down. So let's bring in the most diligent of them all. Not just Mr Unity, not just Mr Empathy, but the diligent master of this smooth-running machine, Joe Biden. I'll answer the baby formula question because all of a sudden it's on the front page of every newspaper. If we'd been better mind readers, I guess we could have, but we moved as quickly as the problem became apparent to us. All of a sudden, as soon as it became apparent to you, the day before you said that, your own White House said you'd been working diligently on it for months. And that was the moment when it all became clear. Everything we've been saying, Biden literally has no clue what's going on around him. No clue. Did they brief him about the months of working diligently and he forgot? Or did they not even bother telling him what's going on? This is the real crisis, the underlying crisis, the crisis underlying the inflation crisis and the border crisis and the Afghan crisis and this baby crisis and all the others. Biden's capacity to do his job. I mean, just look at him. There's nothing there. Yeah, they, they managed to wheel him out to make ludicrous, divisive partisan attacks and utterly incoherent, rambling speeches like that fiasco on inflation the other week. But remember, this is what Biden's like in public when he knows he's on display reading prepared remarks. Imagine how bad it is in private when he's supposed to be actually making decisions. Absolutely terrifying. Look, the policy failures, the broken promises, these are things for our political process to resolve in the time-honoured way through elections. But Biden's obvious inability to perform the duties of president properly, that's different. We can't wait till 2024. It's not right. In the words of the vice president. Do gotta go. Do gotta go. <laughs> yep. If he goes, she takes over. But that's no reason for the United States of America to tolerate an incapacitated president. We must respect the Constitution. Biden has proven he is not fit to be president. He should resign or be removed from office immediately. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.